His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued law number no. one for 2016, approving Bahrain joining the Convention on Prohibitions or Restrictions on the Use of Certain Conventional Weapons deemed to be excessively injurious or to have undiscriminate effect, as endorsed in Geneva in October 1980 and its third, fourth and fifth protocols. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace accredited Arab ambassadors to the kingdom, led by the doyen of the diplomatic corps and Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Sabah, as His Royal Highness discussed with the ambassadors recent Arab and international developments. His Royal Highness hailed the fruitful results of the extraordinary ministerial level meeting of the Arab League Council in Cairo and the earlier GCC Ministerial Council meeting held in Riyadh, which stressed the importance of overcoming the challenges facing the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's support for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in all its efforts to maintain the region's security and stability, hailing Saudi Arabia's honourable stances in defending Arab causes. The Arab ambassadors affirmed their support for Bahrain, regarding all measures taken to stop any foreign interference in its domestic affairs. His Royal Highness then stressed the ambassadors' efforts to enhance relations between Bahrain and their own countries and wished them success in assuming their missions. On behalf of the Arab ambassadors, the Saudi ambassador, Dr Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, expressed his thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for its supportive stance to Saudi Arabia. The Kuwaiti ambassador expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness to strengthen joint Arab action. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session today under the chairmanship of its president, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, in the presence of the deputy president, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The council noted the importance of boosting cooperation in order to overcome all forms of terrorism that threaten the kingdom's security and stability. The council hailed the efforts of Bahraini security bodies to foil a number of terrorist plots aimed at destabilizing the country. It also urged non-interference in other countries' internal affairs, respect for the principles of good neighbourliness and embracing the true values of Islam.
personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received participants in the second edition of the Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa Leadership Programme. His Highness said that the programmes provided by the Nasser bin Hamid Foundation aim to develop the skills of Bahraini youngsters in various fields. He explained that following the directives of His Majesty the King, the Foundation launched a number of initiatives and awards to boost the leadership skills of Bahraini youth in order to build a generation that can participate in the Kingdom's development. Participants expressed their keenness to enhance their leadership skills in order to play their part in serving the Kingdom. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today members of KHK MMA Mixed Martial Arts Team in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham Al Jauda, and the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Askar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the Bahrain team's first place in the Indian Open MMA Championship. He praised the performance and ability of the team against a field of international fighters and said he was certain they would enjoy more success in the future. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also praised the role of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and his unwavering support for the youth and sports sector. He affirmed his ongoing support for the sport of mixed martial arts and wished the fighters further success. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired today the weekly meeting in which he stressed the importance of implementing a clear economic policy in order to enhance Bahrain's economy in the future. Members of the Representatives Council highlighted Bahrain's current economic situation and affirmed the importance of enhancing cooperation in order to overcome such challenges. During the Representative Council's weekly session, the Information and Parliament Affairs Minister Issa bin Abdurrahman Al Hamadi emphasised that the Government and the Council of Representatives share common goals in relation to the country's interests. The Minister said that the Government is committed to complying with all constitutional decisions made by the Legislative Authority and will take into consideration all points of view when considering ways to deal with the nation's fiscal challenges. The minister added that the government deeply values the input of the Council of Representatives and welcomes its vigour and commitment to protecting the interests of citizens. He said that the government stands side by side with the council in its efforts to improve the lives of Bahraini citizens and protect national interests. Since the launch of His Majesty's reform programme, the democratic process in Bahrain has moved forward significantly and the powers granted to the Council of Representatives have increased considerably. The decision regarding petrol prices was taken by the executive branch according to the powers granted to it by the constitution in light of the extraordinary fiscal challenges facing both Bahrain and the wider region. The Information and Parliament Affairs Minister said that the price of oil had dropped markedly since the Council of Representatives approved the forecast contained within the Government Action Plan and State Budget and immediate action was necessary to protect citizens' interests and the nation's fiscal stability.
He continued that the necessity of implementing the decision immediately was due to external factors. However, the government has consistently demonstrated its commitment to collaborating with the Council of Representatives in different situations. The government has implemented a large number of decisions submitted by the Representatives' Council on social assistance programmes and subsidies for goods and services. We are confident, he said, and trust that all parties will continue to work together to prioritise the public interest and achieve fiscal sustainability for the benefit of the Kingdom's citizens. Mr Al Hamadi said that the government was prepared to take into account all points of view and to comply with any constitutional decision taken by Parliament regarding fiscal reform, whether related to increasing revenues or reducing expenditure. Bahrain's public prosecution today released its quantitative annual report looking into cases and systems for the period from 2014 to 2015. Danielle de Porto brings us more in this report. Bahrain's public prosecution today held a press conference to detail the findings of its annual report into systems and cases from 2014 to 2015. The briefing was led by Bahrain's chief public prosecutor, Dr Ali bin Fadl al -Bainain. We start in 2005, the first report from the public prosecution to the public. It's very important that the community here know everything happened in the last year about all cases. We we'll talk about terrorism cases, traffic cases, uh, theft, all these kind of, of, of crimes and how it's going in Bahrain. Is it under control or not? And I think uh, uh, what, we, what we can know from this report that yes, everything is under control in this, in this country. What we, we deliver today, everything, it's, it's, it's an individual for each district. We, we, we spoke about in general about the cases. We spoke about also the, uh, the accused them, them, themselves and even for the juvenile, whether accused or victims. Not only do these comprehensive annual reports provide transparency for the public at large, but the numbers and trends also serve to help the public prosecution devise new strategies to tackle different classes of crime. For instance, this latest report reveals a slight increase in the numbers of traffic, drugs and theft-related crimes, which the public prosecution will be focused on tackling in the coming year. A significant success story highlighted in the 2014-2015 report is a reduction in the number of cases associated with social media, attributed to procedures implemented by the public prosecution on the back of their preceding report. The public prosecution coordinates with international counterparts in devising and refining its practices in line with global standards. For example, in the past year, there have been revisions in how juvenile suspects are approached in coordination with social workers. Looking forward to the coming year, in addition to improving existing practices, the public prosecution aims to introduce new remedies, such as mediation, to address Bahrain's ever-evolving legislation. A lot of cases, the solution is not to send them to the court. I think we, we should start uh, uh, a new law, uh, give us the power to finish the case in the public prosecution, especially the violence in the, in the, in the families. Now, we got a new law in 2015, which is uh, talking about the, the family and the violence in the, in the family. I, th I don't think the, 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 the right answer is to send the, or the right solution to send the case to the court. The right solution is to find a solution in the public prosecution to, to, to finish the case here before sending it to the court. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Good evening, welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,196.19 points, a decrease of 3.18 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and services sector and was also the most rated in with 22 transactions taking place representing 63% with the volume of 294,602 shares with a value of 61,831 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. On behalf of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Excellency Mr. Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, Minister of Youth Affairs and Sport, received at the Bahrain Airport the KHK MMA team 
that has won the prime position in three weights category of 57, 61, and 77 kilograms in the Indian Open MMA Championship on the sideline of the Body Power Expo alongside 300 MMA fighters from around the globe.